Hello everyone, this is Siddhant Tre here. In today's video, I am going to talk about a module called PyAuto GUI. It is an interesting and complex module which works on voice commands. It lets your Python scripts control the mouse and keyboard to automate interactions with other applications. PyAuto GUI works on Windows, Mac OS and Linux and runs on Python 2 and Python 3. It has had a massive impact on IoT since it is a part of speech recognition following commands or orders. It saves a lot of time and effort. Since we are speaking and not typing, our time gets saved. Secondly, the user does not have to touch the keyboard or mouse if he wants to open a particular program. Say the desired command and it will present it to you in a lesser amount of time than what it would have taken you to do with a mouse and a keyboard. It is widely used in personal assistants with a display screen since PyAuto GUI is based on changes you notice on your monitor or TV screen. PyAuto GUI is easy to program and the logic building is pretty simple in spite of it being a complex module. It is available to install in command prompt or CMD terminal in Linux OS and in the terminal of Visual Studio Code. It is also available on Mac OS. The function to install it is pip install PyAuto GUI. Now let's get started with a short demonstration of PyAuto GUI. So this is the working of the PyAuto GUI module on my personal assistant. So there are a total of 56 lines of code from 80 to 136. And there are a total of 7 features in my PyAuto GUI module. They are YouTube search, Amazon search, close window, Google search, incognito window, minimize window and bring window back. I'll be explaining you all these features one by one. So first, let me explain to you the YouTube search feature. So for this, I'll have to open a YouTube window first using the open YouTube feature, which I had explained in my last video. So when I'll search on YouTube for anything, I'll just have to say YouTube search and then whatever I want to search, then it will click on Alt D, then it will press tab for a number of times until it reaches to the search bar and then it will write whatever is in the query and lastly it will press on enter. So let's see how this works by running the program. Open YouTube. YouTube search Siddhant Coding World So as you can see, it search for Siddhant Coding World on YouTube. Everything is being done by the PyAuto GUI module and my operating system. Now let's see the second feature of my project, the Amazon search. I will also be covering the close window feature of my project along with the Amazon search feature. So. Let's see how this works. It is very similar to the YouTube search feature. Open Amazon. Amazon search headphones. So as you all can see, since I wanted to search on Amazon for headphones, it searched on Amazon for headphones for me automatically. I do not have any control over the mouse or the keyboard. Everything is being done by the operating system and the PyAuto GUI module of Python. Now let us see the close window feature of my project. So what it will do is, it will just click on Alt and F4. Close window. As you can see, it closed the window for me. It did not do anything. It just clicked on Alt and F4 automatically on its own. Now I'll be covering the Google search, incognito window, minimize window and the bring window back features all together. So for Google search, I'll open a random Google window over here. Now I'll have to just say Google search and whatever I want to search on Google. Let's see how this works.
गूगल सर्च डोनाल्ड ट्रम्प So as you can see it searched on Google Donald Trump for me. Now let us see the incognito window feature. Open incognito window. So it opened an incognito window for me. Now let us see the minimize window feature. Minimize window. So as you all saw it, minimize the window for me. Now let us see the bring window back feature. Minimize window. Bring window back. so it brought back the window for me that was it for the working of the pi auto gui module on my personal assistant you will find the entire pi auto gui code shown in the video in the description box below if you like the video smash the like button if you want to watch more of this kind of content please subscribe to my youtube channel siddhans coding world and comment down below on how did you find this video see you soon everyone bye for now